Fire is created by a cave dude banging rocks together to make a weapon. The world's greatest medicine, penicillin, is created when an open window causes mold to form on a petri dish. Mistakes don't always have to have bad outcomes. Here are 10 inventions that were invented by mistake. Number 10. Inkjet Printer We no longer think twice about the professional looking documents that effortlessly come out of these printers, and we owe it all to an engineer at Canon Copier who was careless with his workplace tools. The ancestor of the modern-day inkjet printer has been around since 1867, but inventors have been grappling with a more effective ink transfer system ever since. Dealing with this very problem in 1977, engineer Ichiro Endo left a soldering iron on top of a pen and discovered that heat was the key to getting ink droplets where they needed to go. Number 9. Pacemaker Pay attention to what you're doing? It's a good thing electrical engineer Wilson Greatbatch didn't. In 1956, in the process of building a device to record heart sounds, Greatbatch grabbed the wrong resistor out of a box and plugged it in. When he heard the familiar sound of a heartbeat, he realized that he had unlocked the key to keeping a failing heart going. Swedish inventor Rune Elmquist actually invented the world's first implantable pacemaker, and huge external pacemakers were in hospitals years before Greatbatch's discovery but it is his patent that has saved thousands of lives. Number 8. Dynamite Dynamite itself isn't actually a mistake. Swedish engineer and industrialist Alfred Nobel fully intended to create a blasting powder for mining and road work that was safer and more stable than the heavily used nitroglycerin of the 19th century. Nobel combined nitroglycerin with other elements in 1867 to create Nobel's safety powder later changing the name to the Zingier Dynamite. So where's the mistake? In 1888, a French newspaper mistakenly printed Nobel's obituary, calling him a merchant of death because of his invention's effectiveness as a weapon. Nobel was so appalled that he left most of his fortune to create an international award for discoveries that benefited mankind in a nonviolent way. More than 100 years later, Nobel Peace Prize winners still pick up their awards annually in Sweden as a result of this guilt. Number 7. X-ray Images What happens when you pass electrical current through gas in a cathode tube, and then cover the tube with black cardboard because all of that strange glowing is annoying? German physicist Wilhelm Röntgen wasn't sure when he tried this experiment in 1895 but he sure wasn't expecting to produce electromagnetic radiation with the ability to pass through solid objects either. Within a year, his x-rays were being used in hospitals, transforming and saving lives. Number 6. Slinky It's a toy. A toy for a girl or a boy. But that's sure not how the Slinky began life. In 1943, Richard James, a naval engineer, was at work at a Philadelphia shipyard trying to create a meter that could stabilize equipment aboard battleships. The process involved springs. When James accidentally knocked one off a shelf, he watched in astonishment as it walked across the floor. He convinced his wife that with the right type of steel, the slinky could do even more. The couple took out a loan and produced several hundred slinkies, the hit of the 1945 Christmas season and the beginning of an American toy icon. Number 5. Superglue Superglue is our second World War II era invention that was discovered by accident. And it was actually discovered twice. In 1944, Dr. Harry Coover was trying to create a material that could be used as a clear gun sight. While he was unsuccessful in that regard, his experiments created a remarkably effective adhesive. Fast forward to 1949, where Dr. Cooper was employed at Eastman Kodak. A colleague borrowed Coover's old glue recipe for a project. Coover became re-interested in his old invention, doing some fine-tuning to it, and in 1958, Eastman Kodak began selling the product that the world would eventually know as superglue. Number 4. Fireworks Kitchens can be dangerous places. For proof, let's journey to ancient China where a cook mixed several highly explosive elements together and BOOM! Fireworks were born. While that cook's accidental concoction was something no one wanted to eat, the formula was quickly adopted as a pyrotechnic for festivals and with modifications as a weapon. 
The Chinese are also responsible for adding color and sparkle to this accidental invention and kitchen catastrophe. Number 3. Plastic Leaving things cooking unattended on stoves and spilling things can be careless and dangerous. They can also lead to brilliant mistaken inventions, like plastic. In the early 1860s, future tire magnate Charles Goodyear discovered that when you mix rubber and sulfur and leave it unattended on a hot stove, you end up with a hard, flexible mess. And at about the same time, in an attempt to come up with a new material for making billiard balls to replace elephant ivory, John Wesley Hyatt spilled a liquid form of cellulose on the floor and got similar results. By 1872, he and his brother were marketing this miracle material as celluloid, and the plastics industry was off and running. Number 2. Teflon When you set out to build a better refrigerator, sometimes you help to build a better bomb. In 1938, scientist Roy Plunkett and an aide stored large amounts of what they thought was a refrigerator gas, tetrafluorethylene, overnight in canisters. By morning, the gas had dissolved leaving behind a strange substance to which nothing would stick. In World War II, Teflon was used in weapon development, including the Manhattan Project. In the late 1950s, Teflon was repurposed by a French entrepreneur who unveiled a line of non-stick cookware. Number 1. Microwave Oven The magnetron, which powers these ovens, was invented in World War II and was used to operate radar in tanks and other vehicles. But when Raytheon scientist Percy Spencer was trying to figure out commercial applications for it in 1945, he accidentally melted candy in his pocket while standing in front of one that was on. Being a man of science, he promptly tried to cook other items, including popcorn and an egg which exploded, starting a proud microwave oven tradition. The first microwave ovens were enormous and expensive, but by 1967, smaller, cheaper, more familiar looking ovens were appearing on the market. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of our future videos.